Let's get into it. So for anybody that is uh, listening or watching for the very first time, we do our power rankings. We do them a little bit different. We just take the top five teams that we think are the best in baseball right now. All right. We don't uh, overanalyze. We'll give you some numbers because we're baseball darks. But we're going to jump right into it. I'll, I'll lead it off because we've talked about them, the Yankees. All right. They're my number one. I have a feeling they're your number one. You Not hate, in my heart, but they're number one on this list. You can't go against them. And like we, we've talked about numbers and everything. The best record of baseball. They're winning game, six game winning streak. They're playing great. We told you the run differential. They're the number one team. I'm kind of sick of talking about them. Wanna, wanna I am too. Uh, you, if I'm a betting man, mm -hmm. instead of per game, I'm doing like per series. Like I'll bet a series Ooh. all day long. Yankees are going to win the next. Yankees are going to win this, any series they play for the next month. Wow. I mean, they have the Twins. That could potentially be one. Twins lead twins the AL Central. Twins are scared of the Yankees, though. I know. But Even it's though not it's not even the same players, they're scared of them. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. All right. Well, he, you heard it here first. If you're betting um, them and if you need any of the sports books and you can bet per series wins, Logan says, go ahead and jump on the Yankees, Yankees to win the next couple of series until we're back next week. So uh, what do you got for number two? I got the Dodgers. Uh, oh, okay. Rough week, but I still got the Dodgers because of the amount of runs scored and runs allowed. There's uh, the Dodgers. Fair enough. Uh, there was so much just, you know, confusion for me in L.A. that um, the Dodgers, they fell a little bit. So okay. there's going to there's going to be some people that are like, what are you talking about? I'm not going to over explain it, but number two for me is the New York Mets. One and two of the New York Punch. Mets are 37 and 19, eight and two in their last 10, plus 76 run differential. They're playing phenomenal baseball. They just split with the Dodgers. Mm -hmm. And for me, you know, uh, the big. Mets, you know, they're eight and two in that last 10. They're playing great baseball without three, legitimately, potentially two of the best pitchers in baseball and another third pitcher out of the rotation. So when these guys get healthy, how much better are they going to get? Yeah. It's just right now they are 19 and eight at home, 18, 11 away, 13 and nine against teams over 500. One of the best teams in baseball. Do I think they're better than the Yankees right now? No, I don't. But I think they're better than the other, um, you know, 28 teams in baseball. So mm -hmm. that, I got them at two. I got them at three. All right. Oh, there we go. A little swappy swap. Well, I, no, I don't have the dot. You know, oh, I, I don't have the Dodgers at three. Oh, little you spoiler. Don't. Wow. Man. My number three, right. Astros. Okay. Astros. Again, we talked about, you know, mm -hmm. um, Really ahead in the AL West, you know, being eight and a half games against the Angels who are second, then nine and a half against the Rangers. They're 35 and 19, seven and three in their last 10, and a plus 48 run differential. You got to remember, they started the season off terrible. terrible. Then they went ahead and won like 12 in a row, and now they're seven and three in their last 10. These, this team is, um, they're just on fire. I mean, yep. it, it's hot in Houston right now, and uh, these guys are playing great baseball. So they're, they're number three for me. Uh, you, so they your, are number, they're number four for me. Okay. They are second in the majors and runs allowed at 175. Yep. There you go. Verlander. Pitching. Verlander's been a stud. Yeah. I mean, he's Verlander. They, uh, and, and they have, um, you know, and, and you got to think too, they lost Correa, just an absolute stud. Mm -hmm. And these guys, uh, they're, they're figuring things out. They're having yep. fun. If you watch any of the games, I try not to watch too many of them, but, uh, again, just not a huge fan, but Hey, it's a good run organization. I mean, yep. you can talk about whatever. We, we don't need to get into the no. scandal, but they've lost Springer mm -hmm. two years ago. They lost Correa this year. Yep. And they can, they just play ball. Mm -hmm. Like that. I think that's part of the thing. Like, you know, they, you know, they get Kyle Tucker, uh, Pena now at short, yep. uh, Altuve, Al, they're ball players. Yep. Bregman, Bregman, people don't like him. Whatever. Dude can flat out ball. They play with an, with an air of confidence that's kind of cocky. But you know, going in, if you're going into Houston, you know those like you're in trouble. Yeah. So we each have our top four. It's a little bit jumbled, but the uh, the meat and the potatoes are still there. Yep. And um, so uh, you had the Astros at four. I, I got. I have the uh, I have the Dodgers at four. Okay. Dodgers dropped from one for me last week down to four. We talked about I mean. why. I'm not worried about them, but for me, the way that they're playing baseball right now, I think they're the fourth best team in baseball right now. Okay. You know, and it's, um, it's fair. It, that's just, uh, that's my take. But uh, I think we definitely are not going to agree on number five. And number five was tough for me. And I'm going to go first because I know you're going to be uh, pretty excited about it. I, I think uh, I, I went with the Padres. Uh, to be honest with you, I went okay. Padres and Jays were my, my, my potential there. And I have a feeling he's going to have his Jays there. So I'm going to let him talk about them. But uh, the Padres, 33 and 21 playing great baseball, six and four. They're on a three game winning streak. Second best team. I get it in the NL West. Their pitching staff is phenomenal. Yeah. And you know, they're 196 runs against, they haven't scored a ton of runs yet, but 
Uh, I've watched a lot of them. They're kind of the team that I, I, I watch on the West Coast with the Dodgers when they're, they're happy to be playing. The Padres have played the Pirates a lot, so I've watched them. And uh, they're a pretty good baseball team, yep. and uh, they're, they're getting better each time. So uh, I, I got them as, uh, as number five. I like that. That's good. Um, and they have the second most, their road record. Yeah. 2011 on the road. That's a lot of games good. on the road. That's pretty good. Yep. Um, Hosmer had, I think, two hits this past week, and they're still winning, Yeah, which is huge. He's kind of fallen back down to earth. Uh, and, but the fact that they're still winning games and they're pitching, San Diego's pretty good. Yeah. They're, 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 they're really good. Speaking uh, of good, who, who do you have as five? Toronto. I, 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 know. I knew it. Let's go with the Blue Jays. The Jays. Nine out of 11. Split uh, two and two with Minnesota, which I'm okay with as a Jays fan. Uh, yep. I would have liked to see them win three and four, but um, the Jays are hitting finally. This mm-hmm. past week, the Jays have crushed the ball. Uh, I'm going to get more on that later. But uh, Toronto, as we speak, 31 uh, 22, 8 and 2 in their last 10, but 9, that was a 9 and 2 last 11. Yep. Um, their pitching is kind of allowed a few, their pitching's kind of dropped down a little bit, as they say, come back down to earth a little bit because they, they had held them where they were. Yep. But the hitting's net there. They're still playing one run games, but now they're seven to six, six, five games instead of two to one. Yep. Like they went through for a three week period. That's are coming to life. That's are coming to life. And that's, that's what Toronto's kind of, yep. you know, that's what they're known for. Young, young talent, speed and hitting the ball. Hitting and the uh, ball. They're, they're having fun fi- again. What are they, 15 and 15 against teams above five. They played 30 games ha- over half their schedule against teams above 500. Most uh, other teams in the majors haven't done that. So I think when the Jays start playing some, you know, lower teams, I think they're going to kind of come back to where they should be. It's scary that they're playing that good. They're still seven and a half games behind, but yeah. they're four and a half games up in the wild card and they have the new playoff format, which as the season gets a little bit closer towards playoffs, we'll remind everybody what it's about, but you can listen to the very first episode and learn all about some rule changes. 